I'm watching CNN and life's getting critical. Forget unity, the climate is way too political. The war analysts are too analytical, too technical with their theoretical. And MSNBC keep telling me that the economy is far from economical. And the six o'clock news is showing a priest whose conduct was unethical. Caught with his pants down in a scandalous ecclesiastical and court TV keeps showing me killers that are pathological and the Riley report keep telling me Al Qaeda is packing weapons that are biological and if you're under 40 and dependent on social security then your faith is totally illogical and from channel to channel it's all about welfare and warfare, despair, somewhere, unfair, softwares, compare, nightmares, 24-7 pumping fear into the atmosphere which causes the average American to be straight. Depressed. That's when they go to Plan B and try to medicate us to death. Zoloft and Prozac with a shot of Smirnoff. Throw that back. Flip the laptop. Fifteen Marines killed today in Iraq. Channel surf and they still find ways to seduce you, abuse, reduce, and misuse you. Tell you to your face that you are the biggest loser. Grab the remote and you feel your energy level begin to sink. Something about that box just kills your need to think. And that ghost-looking chick is always there to remind you that you are the weakest link. Goodbye. In other words, you're blind to the hypnotism because under the guise of patriotism, they've got you scared to death of terrorism, constantly bombarding your nervous system, strategically showing you nothing but crime and recidivism, gentle massaging your belief system with their poisonous doctrine, eventually transform you into the perfect victim. And the results? Predictable. Man in time grows blind to the greatness of his mind. He loses track of the fact that he's created by a spirit that's divine. He is divine spirit, created without limit, but from the comfort of his seat, he's programmed with defeat, scared to death, it leaves him hysterical, and as you know in the presence of fear, there can be no miracles. You see, the creeps that control the bleeps are trying to keep you asleep, trying to keep your mind locked into that box, but woe be unto the shepherd that fleece my flock. The battle has been waged for your soul, and they know no limits. My people, they have come to kill your spirit. But you were not born a victim of the system. In fact, you were given dominion over everything. But you can't remember that because you're under attack from the two income trap. Healthcare and daycare missing action like that. Mortgage and insurance got your chest kicking in your back. High price of gasoline and property tax and the news got you suspecting Ajax to be anthrax. Wife comes home crying. She just got axed. They outsource her job to some woman in Bangladesh while the feds are telling you that the economy's bouncing back. But there's nothing more for you to cut back. So now little junior college fund gets hijacked and your heart can't take too much more for that. You're having palpitations. You can tell it's about to attack. Son, I'm talking straight cardiac. So by the time you turn on the news, you need that Prozac. And truth be told, you don't want to sound cold, but you really don't care who got shot in Iraq or how many miners got trapped or what reporters got kidnapped. As a matter of fact, you ain't got time for none of that. You too busy trying to get a second job before GMAC repossessed that Cadillac. See? In order to disconnect you from your divinity, it is imperative that they erase your identity. They must keep you distracted with illusions like these so you'll be constantly on your knees begging please because they know that there is no rescue from a victim's mentality. That's why those crooks don't want you looking in no books. They're steady siphoning your dollars while you bang your head to a 50 cent hook. They got you watching poker championship, not realizing you the one that's being took. Look, they know that when it comes to their pockets, the best way to stock their dockets is with war and conflict because these bring about much increase even in so-called democracies where senators get bought by the lump sum and Congress pocket hush money by the ton, allowing big corporations to dump their pension fund. They've got you outgunned, son, in order to get you to vote for them to go overseas and be the world police while innocent lives are being deceased. It is obligatory that they rob you if you're in a peace. But the television doesn't terrorize me. Life ain't got no hold on me. I can never be enslaved like a basketball in the hands of Jordan, having my mind become my very own warden. If you believe that, you're more mistaken than Marsha Clark and Christopher Darden. Because when it comes to living in bliss, I'm into this like plants be into photosynthesis. Regardless of how corrupt the system, I choose not to be a victim. Ground crew baby in silence we hustle We're building Zion out of Babylon's rubble So now is the time to shed those limitations To move from incubation to meditation To affirm my past can no longer scar me Today you will be all that you can be Without the army Now is the time to dream that impossible dream To face that unbeatable foe Let life know that for your dreams You're willing to go blow for blow Toe to toe Leave tomorrow for the sheep The comfort zone is a dance all of the week Now is the time to avoid the unhappy And the unlucky For their disease is contagious Infectious and insidious 
You came here to claim situations that are serendipitous. Let the dead bear the dead. Leave them with the dread, the trepidation, the uncertainty, and the distrust. For a life of mediocrity is not your destiny.